This is a quick tutorial on how to operate the Stinger weapon system. This is your battery coolant unit. You insert it into the bottom of the weapon system here, quarter turn to lock. You deploy the sights, okay? First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna identify where your aircraft is. You're gonna look, you identify the aircraft. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put the aircraft into your sighting ring. This is your uncage button. Here's your trigger. Here's your safety actuator, okay? Once you identify where the aircraft is, you're gonna aim above, below, to the sides of it against a clear blue sky in order to set the tracking system on the missile. This is a negative infrared tracking weapon system. Once you go ahead and you track behind, above, below the aircraft, you're gonna go and activate the safety actuator. You push forward, down until you click. Once that is done, you will hear the missile start spinning up. The battery, con control, uh, battery coolant unit only has about 45 seconds of argon gas, so you're gonna need to be relatively quick. Once you go ahead and you activate on the clear sky, you go and put the aircraft back into your targeting ring. You push the uncage button. This disengages the tracking, the tracking sensor at the tip of the missile. This will now allow the missile to freely tr target the aircraft. Once you have done that, you're going to super elevate the missile system because this missile fires through a propelling charge and then the main firing motor will engage seconds afterwards. If you don't super elevate, the missile will hit the ground and you won't have good effect. Super, ele super elevate, push the uncage. Once that is done, go ahead, pull the trigger for a few seconds until the missile has left the tube. Disengage the battery coolant unit and then get out of there.